Hey everyone, it's Mandy. Thanks so much for joining me here today. I have a new layout to share with you and this one is for the Coco Vanilla Studio Design team. And today I'm playing with the latest collection from Coco Vanilla and it's called Boys Rule. And so if you haven't seen this collection yet, go and check it out because it is so awesome. I love the colours in it, particularly the colours that I'm using on this page today, that aqua and the lime green with the grey. Oh, I love that colour combination. So it's this is just right up my alley and I think it's probably one of my favourite boy collections of all time. Um, I'm really enjoying creating with it. I think this is the third project I've created with it. I think I've already done a traveller's notebook spread and a layout. So you can check those out on my Instagram account uh, if you would like to see them. And so I'm creating another layout and this week on, on the blog, uh, the design team are all creating projects that are focused on stripes and stars. And so my idea for this layout started with that um, grey striped patterned paper and my initial idea was to use that as my background. I don't often use patterned papers as my background um, and I thought that I would give it a go on this page but just letting you know I don't end up going with that. Um, yeah, I think I just struggled with it just looking a little bit too busy for me. Um, I do really like a nice white um, crisp background and so I was just struggling with it a little bit. So I end up playing around with it but I do end up switching it for uh, a sheet of white cardstock for my background. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So I've also cut a, a vertical strip of that aqua patterned paper and I love that. That's one of my favourite ones in the collection. And I do end up using a thin strip of that um, grey striped patterned paper. So I'm still bringing in the stripes to go with the theme uh, but just using it in a smaller amount which I really like. I think that just to me just looks more pleasing to the eye and not so busy. Um, and then you also saw there that I used my border punch to uh, just punch that um, sort of a notebook edge um, on that dark blue patterned paper. And so I'm going to tuck that underneath the aqua paper. Um, so I'm going to get these layers stuck down now. And then I decided before I stuck down this aqua patterned paper that I just wanted to add some machine stitching to it. I love adding machine stitching to my layouts because... I really like the texture that it adds. I think it just really adds something a little bit extra um, and textural and it makes you want to sort of touch it. I just really like the look of that. And so uh, now I've added the stitch into that. I could have done it probably after I stuck it down, but I find it easier to, if I'm going to add some machine stitching to uh, the patterned paper before I, I, I usually do it before I stick it down just because I find that easier. Um, it still looks as though I've stitched it straight onto the cardstock, but um, yeah, I haven't. So I've just now stuck down that um, dark blue pattern paper and I've just ruffled up the edges a little bit. I just wanted um, the edges of the pattern papers just to look a little bit distressed and I think that just adds some nice um, interest and more texture to the page as well. And I'm just using my T-square ruler as I stick down these strips of patterned paper just to make sure that I've got them nice and straight on the page because there's nothing that annoys me more than having it stuck down crooked. Um, so once again, I'm just um, distressing the edges of that uh, aqua patterned paper as well. So the photo that I'm documenting today is of my son and it's from about 10 years ago. He was so little um, and I realised recently that I have a bit of a gap in um, my scrapbooking. I, When I first started, I was documenting everything in chronological order and... I started to get quite bogged down with that and I felt like I was just never going to get up to date and I probably never would have. And so probably when uh, he was maybe about five, somewhere around there, um, I switched to just – I was so far behind, I was not feeling like I was going to get up to date. And so I switched to just 
documenting whatever I wanted whenever. So sometimes I, you would know that sometimes I document older photos, sometimes more recent ones, um, just whatever's inspiring me at the time. But what that sort of meant was that I kind of got up to when he turned about one um, and then I've sort of got a gap from when he was um, between one and five, I guess. I've got a few layouts in there, but not many. So what I have decided now that I'm going to do is try and go back and print some of those photos from um, that time where I've got that bit of a gap so that I can get those photos documented as well. And so I will uh, still be documenting more recent photos, but I'll have these ones on hand so that when the inspiration strikes um, that I can scrapbook these older photos um, and I just love this one of him, those cute little chubby cheeks and those lips. Um, I just, he was so cute. And so it's so nice now to go back and document this photo because it brings back all of those nice memories of when he was just a little bubba. Okay, so um, I'm now bringing in some of the embellishments. And I also matted my photo with that lime green patterned paper from the collection. And I've popped some craft foam underneath the photo just to lift it up and give it some nice dimension on the page. And so for my title, I'm going to use those chipboard words that say the best. Uh, and I'm going to journal about how I think he's the best boy in the world, as I'm sure every mum would say about their kids. And what I love about these chipboard pieces that are in this latest collection is that they don't actually have adhesive on the back of them, which I really like because it means that I can move them around the page and get them positioned, get them where I want them before I stick them down. And then I just use my liquid glue once I'm happy with uh, where I want them. Uh, okay, so I'm also, as you can see, going to create a little cluster there in the bottom right hand corner of the page just to balance out the photo and title up the top. And so I, as I said, I'm going to add my journaling to that label there in that cluster. And so now what I want to do is bring in some of the stars from the collection to go with the uh, stripes and stars theme that we have on the blog this week. And so there are so many stars in this collection, which I love because uh, I love using stars on boy layouts. I don't know about you, but they just they work great for me. <laughs> I think for me, I kind of think of hearts for girl, girl layouts and stars for boys. And I know that you can totally switch that up, but that's just what, um, what I like to use. Uh, so um, I've used a combination of some of the die cuts and some of the stickers. And um, so I've just sort of scattered them around the page. And so you can see now that I've gone ahead and added my typed journaling to that label and I'm happy with how this is all looking. So I'm going to start getting some things stuck down. As I said, I use my liquid glue to stick down those chipboard pieces. So that's just uh, my Helmar 450 glue. And you can see that I've sort of got the photo uh, on a diagonal. I didn't want that lined up uh, straight on the page. I think maybe because everything else was straight, I wanted it sort of crooked just um, for something different. Uh, and so I have everything stuck down now. I didn't make you sit and watch uh, me stick everything down. Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to do is add my date stamp and I will be done. So thanks so much for joining me here today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will be back soon with another one to share with you. So I'll see you then. Bye.